the rundown brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts Go Twos. Uh, you know the deal. You can get uh, for two dollars, three dollars, five dollars. You can get two different breakfast sandwiches. Uh, you can get bacon, egg, and cheese on a croissant. Croissant. You can get uh, you can get two, so oh you God. can split it with your buddy. If you're hungry, you can eat them both. Whatever reason, two is always better than one. And America runs on Dunkin', so does Barstool. Hashtag Viva La Dunkin'. Go get yourself one of the go-to sandwiches, go-to packages. Tweet out a picture of it. We'll retweet it. Uh, Take the pick. Tommy, Tommy. Take the pick, Tommy. Tommy photographs <laughs> over here. Good job. Uh, let's you. start with football. Draft night. Uh, obviously, the big news of the draft is... John Baker Allen. Mayfield's going to maybe your, go one. Your boy. Yeah, your that's boy. what we're all talking about. Uh, you know, it's just disappointing when part of my take can't be the guys uh, who break this news. I don't, well, know, I don't know where you assholes were on that one. Okay, but. so I blame myself. I went through all the levels of uh, misery, whatever it is, like denial. Uh, Stages of grief. It's grief, yeah, yeah. Mourning, whatever. I felt really shitty. Uh, I texted him. I was like, yo, that's, that's our bad. We should have found that shit. Turns out... Someone had, uh, they had deleted them in January, but someone had already screen grabbed all of them. So the whole theory that Schefter floated out, that someone released them to have them drop to, to maybe, mm -hmm. you know, fifth, sixth pick, that could be true. It, it, that, if I, someone I, deleted and held on to it, and then it comes out the day before the draft, I, I genuinely believe that that was a malicious thing. I do too, and I love that. Yeah, I love spy movie. games. So here's my question. If you did that, and you get your guy, would you tell him? That we no, fucked you? No, that you cost a million dollars? No. I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd tell him, I like, mean, we have a couple we didn't release. <laughs> I feel like, I mean, I, as long I as he's still going to get paid, I just feel like it's like, we wanted you so fucking bad, dude. You're no. our guy. We wanted it. We got you. Let's rock. I would never trust you again. I had never, like... Okay. Imagine, like, some girls will be like, I released all your text messages to every girl in the world so they wouldn't have you. Now I got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. like, When you put it you that way, bitch. bad idea. <laughs> no, you know what I would do? I would say uh, another team, like we got inside information. So say the Bills draft Josh Allen. They'd be like, yeah, we heard actually the Broncos were the one that did that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we love you so much mm -hmm. that. Can, if you were a real team, does this actually fucking matter to you? No, I don't. No. That he tweeted something when he was 12? No. no. Like you're a real fucking asshole. And I mean, if you look around the rest of the fucking league, like this is uh, not the, that big of a deal compared to some other. If, if it's see something before. he said like in uniform at Wyoming or something like he got in a video at a party at Wyoming or something like that, something you tweeted in high school, you're gonna let that affect like what you think the future of your franchise is. Well, and the other thing is they, if you really want to make an impact. You wait until an hour before the tweets. When people went before be the like, draft, be like because then they don't have enough time and, to yeah, research yeah. it. He right doesn't now, have time I'm sure to do last the sorry. night somebody, a lot of teams are freaking out. And by draft time, yeah, the GM spoke to the owner. The owners talked to the media. We're like we're good. Yeah, they know. But maybe everything. in the moment you might be like, uh, we're not. It's the Laramie that. Tunsil. Yeah, Laramie right, Tunsil's right. You know, bong rip was was put out there at the perfect time where he could drop in the draft because everyone's like, what the fuck is going on? But that's different than, like, even a bomb. Like, so you know what I mean? Like, 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 he videoed that himself. That's a dumb person move. Like, something you tweeted when you were 12 or 13. And right. Yeah, a lot of them are like, fucking song lyrics. Yeah. Clearly jokes. You know, a couple it's, bad, it's, a couple it's really bad ones. But it's not like... He would want to take them back, I'm sure. Yeah. But, you, but if, you, if you do it, like, an hour before, then it's not that a team wouldn't be like, oh, well, he was young. It'd be like, what else is there? Right. You know what yeah. I mean? This like, well, if we iceberg. didn't find this, yeah. what else is out there that yeah. we missed? Yeah. So then that could possibly put some doubts this, in their mind. So they should just all, do better research on it. Teams should yeah. know we didn't miss anything else. Yeah. I mean, we did. We looked at all his fucking tweets. Yeah, I don't we know how they Twitter don't hire, feed. like, you know, FBI or, like, the Israeli, or, like, Harvey Weinstein it. Hire the Israeli army to find it. Right? I don't know how this keeps happening. If you are going to get drafted, get it, if you're going to go on American Idol, if you're going to become famous somehow, delete your, in delete the account. Don't delete the tweets. Make a whole new fucking Twitter. It doesn't matter. But I Start get that Twitter, they did have this. Start tweet, like yeah. the hi, learning Twitter, whatever, like yeah. the automatic first tweet. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Like just have that, that's the only that's tweet it. you have on there. But I or get, or I, just don't fucking have social media. I get if someone did it in January and he thought like, or he, you know, he deleted them all in January and someone had screen grabbed these, you know, a year but ago. But Josh Allen's something. doing what, two years he's known? So January's, two yeah. years he's known he's gonna like, be. Yeah. As soon as you're a big time yeah. prospect yeah. in sports. But it's not You, as, you might pan out. You're in, good right. in high school. But it's not as simple as he just didn't Yeah, he, he made an attempt. Like they actually somebody tried. Fucked him. Yeah. It is, but it's but I mean, like he was talking about coming out last year, wasn't yeah, it? People saw Should have deleted January last year. Yeah. People suck, but people are stupid too. This is I wanna I wanna be like uh 
after Barstool, I want to be a consultant and be like, I'm a scumbag on the internet, so I know all the tricks. So here's what we're going to do. I can sure sniff you other, out. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it's like, like uh, you can catch me if you can when he becomes the fraud guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, that's what we're going to make real money. Baker Mayfield, uh, my guy, recreates oh, the- Oh, uh, your guy? Yeah, my guy. You, uh, you want him? I want him for blog purposes. I think he'll be great for the blog, great for t-shirts. Interesting. And shit like this. He recreates the Brett Favre draft night picture. Like, to a T. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just like, oh, we kind of did what he did. Like, you get his whole family dressing up, his whole family posing. It's almost identical in the jean shorts and the hat. Uh, I had a lot, of, a lot of talk that he's going to go to the Browns. I think that's what it looks like right now. I mean, Schefter basically YP was said, telling me there was, there was talk that the Browns are just trying to get the Jets to trade up again. The Browns are doing. <laughs> the Browns have now been linked to every single quarterback, yeah, right. so they're clearly doing smoke screens. But then you have to ask yourself: It's the Browns, so do the Browns know how to do a smoke screen, or are they just so dumb that they keep right. changing like who they want? Right. I just need to see Baker get drafted and then tweet out a picture of just like a pair of Crocs, but maybe not. You know, obviously not his dick, but just like that angle. But without the dick would be so funny. Maybe it's like, maybe all right, now I'm dick. drafted. Yeah. <laughs> and just the Crocs. I mean, I, I think he'll be. I, I I don't. You know, you know I me. Mean? I'm not gonna act like I analyze these guys. But I feel like none of them are actually gonna be the the franchise quarterback that all these teams want I'm to be. So I'm kind of like going for the guy who I think is best for business, and I think Baker's gonna be that. I also like Rosen cockiness the other day in that interview. Yeah. Where he was yeah. like talking talking a lot of shit. A decent chance you're number one. I don't care. Uh, I just want to go to a team. I mean, you know, but my would you be life, surprised? I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't really. I'm not paying attention to all that stuff very much. I mean, I've always been the number two guy. Uh, I mean, coming out of coming out of high school, Ricky Town was the dude. Uh, he was going to SC. I was going to UCLA. Um, he was number one in the country. I was number two, and he was going to bring USC back to the promised land. Um, Blake Barnett. He after after Ricky kind of faded away a little bit. Break Barnett was the elite, elite eleven MVP. He was the dude that was going to go to Bama, win a couple championships, and call Quist go to the league as a first overall pick. I don't really you don't really hear about him too much. Um, Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield, these dudes that are these um, exotic, cool, like flashy quarterbacks. Um, that number one pick, all this stuff, and I'm number two. And you know what? I'm going to sit here. And in a couple of years, um, when all is said and done, I'm, I'm I'm confident that I'll be I'll I'll still be standing. And I think uh, I've I've proclaimed, and I'm going to do it here. We'll make it official. Josh Rosen gets drafted to the Jets, and they win the Super Bowl. I will convert to Judaism. Wow. No, like, like wow. Chosen, chosen hang Rosen. Hang on, hang on. Actually convert, or like just say you're. You got to get recircumcised. No, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> like I might draw the line there, but I'll like, no, no, I'll no, read no, out no, of the no, Torah no. and I'll get no, a fucking rabbi. Get I've, I've done that. Issue, like like I've thought about that. Like, like if I dated a Jewish girl and her parents made me be Jewish, like would I? I'd, be, I'd say I'm Jewish. Right. I'm not fucking going to a Hanukkah school. No, Kevin's I, saying you will full on do I it. I will try. I mean, I don't like. I don't think I can. Learn you could, no, you. I think you would have best. to get a bar mitzvah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I'm not. I'll get a bar mitzvah. mitzvah. Oh, bro, I've always wanted a bar mitzvah. Yeah, but you're never gonna get one. Like you're you have, you're gonna go to school at night. You're gonna like Kramer. If we win a yeah, Super Bowl, Super Bowl, this is a Come big on. deal, oh, dude. Fuck, no. um, Let me tell you what. Your yeah. guy's got five. Them? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'd go to yeah. school for any of them. Would you? Would you have become a Jew to break the curse? The Red Sox would curse. I, I mean, like you would have been asking an idiot. You're asking an idiot now. Yeah, too, you but, are. You're dumb. Uh, Mm -hmm. Would you have? Would you have become Maybe, Christian? But like, I, Cubs? But like well, I was still hard. in CCD yeah, what are you then. Do? Yeah. Not, eat, like, not eat meat in April. Yeah, and basically mm -hmm. just like be uh, sorry all the time yeah. and, and just act like everything you do is not wrong. Not talk about my problems, which I already do. <laughs> uh, you're basically Christian. I already yeah. have half that blood. I'll yeah. convert. Yeah. I will convert. I mean, we. You're, uh, you're I'll also, fucking. I'll also you're fly to the moon. It's not going to happen, right dude. Now. You're making a big. Dangerous. That's a big. Actually, big this is this is the one thing. Dude, like, CCD was like 18 years of our lives. Oh, the worst. The it was worst. The worst. You're going to go back. CCD. You're going to go back with the Jews. Yeah, with and, the and I have to talk Hebrew. Oh my Super God! I wouldn't do that for this, this for anything in the world. The only thing I wouldn't do it for ten million dollars. Do you have to realize how ridiculous this is? Is it eighteen years? Yeah, like, you're talking. No, no, no. no I, I mean, there's got to be an express route yeah, if you need there's, to. There's definitely like a University of Phoenix for this shit. Yeah, and listen, I'm not going to count that. I'm you sure, have to go to yeah, school. The price is you right. Have to do it. The price is right for these Jays. They'll, you know, they'll, they'll um, let me slide on a few things. <laughs> this draft though is weird because you could tell me, and I guess actually no, most drafts there's one, one or two surefire guys. You could tell me that any of these guys end up being Super Bowl winners or they all end up Be being bust. Yeah. And I would not surprise you. Which is, tells you like the craziness for the quarterback position and like the quarterback bubble. Mm -hmm. Because you know that 
all these guys have been talked, you know, like they, they almost talk themselves into them. It's, yeah. There's no Andrew Luck, there's no Cam Newton. There's yeah. No, yeah, no, everybody wants They talk themselves in and then they talk no themselves out and they talk themselves in. Right. It's they're why, willing it to happen. Been, they just want these guys to be good, so they're figuring out a way to make it sound like that's the case. This year it's been more than usual, yeah. right? With the mock yeah. draft. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, if I see the word mock one more fucking oh, time, oh, you love it. Oh, boy. <laughs> We disagree. It's an art form. Oh, it's an I art form. It's the most insufferable thing. John, None of you know what you're talking about. Someone yeah. sent no me, one knows what they're talking about. Just yeah. admit that. Someone sent me a, a Google sheet yesterday where someone had compiled all uh, 75 mock drafts. And it was awesome. Uh, I mean, I throw my it's fucking like, computer it's like out the predicting window. the lottery numbers at and night. The like, fake I think it's going to be this. There's no that. sense that people even try and talk about yeah. that. The fake Especially, trades are the know, best. Like, top five picks, whatever, fine. The fake people, trades, oh, oh my god. god. I can't get enough fake trades. <laughs> I cannot get enough fake trades. <laughs> you we goddamn like, yeah, assholes. Guy, Buffalo moved up in the first round. <laughs> and they, like, they traded three fourth rounders. And then that fourth rounder gets traded. I fucking the GMs love it. don't really know what they're talking about. Nobody. And then the time, fucking bro. people are trying to talk funny. about what people don't and know what they're talking that's about. That's why it's, it's crazy. Fun. That's no, why it's fun. I haven't clicked on a single mock draft no. in ten years. People are trying to so predict like you know the early second round. Like you're still you still you can pick the top five, but you're telling me it's gonna be drafted like forty fifth overall. Who fucking yes, knows? that's awesome. This it, to, okay. You Listen. don't actually believe. No, it. yes I do. Yes I do. Okay. You guys. Whatever you're about to say. No, no, because I agree with what you guys are saying that like no one knows what's gonna happen. But that's why mock drafts are so fucking awesome because someone sat down and did seven rounds. Like that's it's absurd. funny to laugh at. Yeah, it's boring to no, see. No, I love the time medication, it's to read. man. I, I fucking that was your job. shout out oh. all the mock draft guys. I love you. Would Tommy's you a mock be, draft guy. Would you rather draft, be a draft mock draft guy? Is pretty fucking. Insane. Would you rather be a mock Stephen draft Chase guy? Stephen Chase a mock draft? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stephen Chase, that yeah. fucking asshole. No, you fuck. Oh, fuck you. God. He's, he released two. <laughs> no, 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 fuck you. Yeah, Stephen no, Chay no, released no. Mock Draft 2.0 last yeah, night. Yeah, because I bullied him into it. Oh, my God. Because he actually wasn't going to, but I told him that you're not a real Mock Draft Unless guy. Unless you do you a revision. Do a 2. He had a lot of traits. Yeah. Uh, he has a shitload of traits. He, he actually walked by me and was like, you're going to like what, what the Bears did in the last Mock Draft. He's like, you're going to really it's, like it's who they picked. It's fan fiction, man. It's fan fiction. I fucking fiction. love it. It's fucking, oh, my God. It's so awesome. It's, it's All the, the mock drafts. That's what you're sports the are about. I'm like looking at the camera. No, you're the worst. No, no. Mock draft people They're like the true worst. diehard sports fans that just sit and slave over 300-plus prospects. Love you. Terrible. Love you. Last night, enormous night for the playoffs, uh, both in hockey and the NBA. Feidelberg. Uh, that had to be one of the bigger sweats of your life. Oh, Game man. seven with, you know, you carrying the, the torch for the Tuka Rask is good movement. And early on, like, it did not look good, buddy. No. It, it was not the start we needed. Tuka not the start stinks. I needed. It was, it was a sweat. It was, I, I died and came back to life five different times last night. Do you night. think that maybe there will be a Tuka, Ra Tuka Rask is bad shirt on sale soon? No. You think he's going he's gonna, he's gonna to clean it up, you think? Yeah, he's not, there's nothing to clean up. Because it wasn't his fault, right? You were gonna do it. Getting caught in these I'm situations, though, is very, very I'm tough. Not doing that. I'm not trying to when talk. You, to when you, when you about, ride about for somebody, yeah. and then. And your and team, then, and then you have a guy. Mm -hmm. it, look, it wasn't way, the that, showing I wanted. I wanted. Bro, this is, this is contact. The, this was like, the, this was the World Series with contact for me. Like, yeah. you put everything into Tuka Rask, right. yeah. and he, if he lost that game, it would have been. If no. he lost that game, and I told Whitney that when Whitney called on the radio, like, Whitney said he's a Tuka guy, we agreed on that. Said, but if we lose this one, it's gonna be a tough ride. It's gonna be a tough fucking wall to defend. Uh huh. Luckily, we didn't lose it. Yeah, didn't I mean, you put up seven goals. Now he's got the, more chances. Wild. Give the, him goals. <laughs> a whole new game set. A whole another seven game series. I don't want to. I don't want to pat myself on look, the back. They didn't score a goal in the third period from games four to game seven. That's the guy who shuts the fucking door, even though you didn't play we'll one. Save of those that was a Jared Carabas save metric. In the words of Rear Admiral last that's, night. That's just a statistic. That's, 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 like that's when they used to be like, Brett Favre, king of fourth quarter comebacks. Well, he sucked in the first three quarters. No, because Tom Brady is the king of fourth quarter comebacks, and he doesn't <laughs> well, suck in the well, first Well, I'm saying so Brett, that's Brett Favre You're an asshole. That's nonsense. Uh, uh, I, I, just, just to, not to pat myself on the back, but you know who's hitting over 300 this year? Kyle Schwarber. There you go. So I understand the. I understand, there's a, you get on these mountains, you oh, gotta fucking just. I'm more smash invested people in people off. Yeah. Than, like in the team. Right. Right. I've, I've put all my eggs in that basket. You're at the point it, it, where it, if the Bruins lost 2 1 in like four overtimes, you'd be like, yeah. I mean, yeah. Tuka was unbelievable. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm always riding in the opposite way. I'm rooting, like, I say all my, all my players stink. And then when they're good, I get it the opposite way. And there are times where I'm sitting there being like, well, if you struck out right now, it wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be the worst thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, like, 
And, and when, I, when I you, give a quick shout out to my boy Pierre Maguire. He had you mean all, uh, what's the, his uh, name? all time call. What's his real name? I don't know. What's Pierre's real name? It's uh I'm on it. Peter, yeah, it's hilarious. Peter, no, it's Peter not. Maguire. No, it's, it's not. Maguire. It's a hilarious name. He, he I think it was the third goal he called Regis. it. Regis like Regis Maguire. Is it Regis? Yeah, it's Regis. Even better. Is that Regis Pierre Maguire? No, his yeah. name's Regis. No, Regis Maguire Pierre's is even name. better. Yeah, yeah, no, but his name is Regis. I, I think I'm a huge I mean the internet hates Pierre. I love Pierre. And uh I love, he called it a meat and potatoes goal. I just, I just love that line. That's a meat and potatoes goal right there. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't, <laughs> you love him, Pierre? Oh, I love Pierre, yeah. I think, I think we talked about this on sometimes. Healthy Scratches. But like, I, I think it's so funny when he gives like, just every, like the whole line of uh, every single player has played for. Yeah, where they played like, like Oh, he was up there in the yeah. Manitoba Moose <laughs> under coach Bill Russell. Yeah. Know, Bill Famous Russell high school mind. coach, yeah. yeah <laughs> Pierre. I think I go back and forth with Pierre. He's a uh, tough he, one. He, he, he can definitely out. bother I mean, me at times. Everything he says, I fucking laugh at. He's the best. We go over to basketball. Speaking of uh, riding for a cause, Dan on this rundown yesterday, mm -hmm. all night long. Canceled. Thunders are tr Thunder canceled. are trash. Russell yeah. Westbrook's been canceled. Yep. Twenty-five point comeback. Yep. Nothing I said. I'm taking back. Nothing I said is wrong. Russell Westbrook was simply incredible in the second half. That's. Rosillo actually had the perfect tweet. The reason why Russell Westbrook makes people so angry is because he can do shit like he did last night. And, like, he can be the best player in the world if he want, you know, like, at times. And I, I'm, I'm going to say maybe there was a little shady foul calling with Rudy Gobert because he happens to go out and then Russell Westbrook gets all his points. But I'll, I'll, I will hand up say that Russell Westbrook... It was it was I mean, a wild he, game he because shit down your throat. Well, he went from he, right he went face. from the beginning of the third quarter when it looked like the Thunder were about to give up. It was going to be maybe the lowest moment in Russell Westbrook's right. career, and then in a matter of twenty minutes, it's maybe one of the best High performances yeah. in his career. So it was a wild, wild swing. He outscored the Thunder or the Jazz 33-28 by himself. Yeah, well, Rudy Gobert got his. I mean, that was a little, little stat. Did you for see you. Rudy Gobert's fourth foul? Like you. Rudy Gobert has no reason to foul Melo. And the fourth foul was on Melo, where Melo was like, you know, got maybe his I mean, one centimeter vertical on a say. jump shot. There's no, like, there, he if wouldn't. You can't defend him. He wasn't. He didn't foul him. It was and, wild. I mean, it was a wild foul call. He, there was nowhere near him. So, like, that's the kind of shady. It's the NBA. It's the NBA. the NBA. And I love it. And it was a great like, game. I'll, I'll absolutely say Russell Westbrook, hats off. Unbelievable game. But my Thunder are trash. Russ can't be the number one team on a uh, player on a championship team, and the whole like Paul playoff P mellow Russ God, super team so thing doesn't work. I stand by all that. I am not wavering. Is Russ still canceled? Yeah, oh yeah, he's canceled. You can't uncancel. No, you can't uncancel. No, you can't un hashtag done. Yeah, right. But no, no I'm not gonna uncancel. I mean, you know, Listen. it's the same thing as console. Like once you do it, it's oh, that's it. Right. That's everyone was trying to give me shit like, oh, you're so wrong. It's like I don't think I'm wrong. I think I was wrong well, in the half of all right, basketball. Jared. All right. I know I do. That's okay, a we'll see. Take. Right, you know what? If the Thunder, if the Thunder beat the Jazz and then go on to beat the who they play next, the, the Rockets? Rockets. Yeah. Okay. Then, then you know what? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll eat my column. I mean, I will. I'll eat my column. They come back air. from three-one and then beat the best regular season uh -huh, team. I'll eat my year. column. That's but big that's, of you. But that's, that's the big point. Of you. That's but that's big the of point you. that people talk about them like they're a fucking contender. They're not a contender. They, they don't. Right. They're trash. I didn't I say anything because I thought. Rudy Gobert's name was Rudy Gobert until just now. <laughs> I felt That's like I should not chime in anymore. That was big of you. Yeah, yeah, Gobert guy. Jonathan Fodder. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't gonna pretend I watched anything. I was watching the Bruins. That's all I focused on last night. But uh, yeah. I thought it was Rudy Gobert. Yeah, I, in your defense, they when someone has a name that's not pronounced even close to how it's spelled like that, they need to have like a umlaut or an some act, kind of accent, yeah, accent. Yeah. something to let you know that something's fucked up. So you should go look at it. Yeah, or you say a whisk brute guy. Just, yeah. just let you know if you don't know, don't say this out loud. Yeah, right. Because you're probably gonna. Fuck you're gonna up. sound really yeah. dumb. Uh, LeBron, I mean, he has his own version of the shot. It was a goaltend. Oh, for sure, a goaltend. Was a goaltend. No denying that. That's also the NBA. Uh, can but I, the shot is, you know, it was literally the almost the exact same play uh, as as Jordan over Elo. Uh, you see, uh, you see MJ uh, LeBron's more clutch than MJ now. Mm -hmm. Clutch. I G. think it's on 16 total shots, so a pretty small sample size. Yes. Yeah, uh, four, four buzzer beaters. So he, and shoots like 56%. So he's undefeated in the finals if he's more clutch, right? Uh, that's not what the. That's not oh, what got it, it was. Okay, got, 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 got it. So he's got it's, six titles. Look, Dan, I don't really right. care. I'm <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> the basketball guys while they're right here. 
How ridiculous is the NBA that you can review everything except a fucking goaltend? Yeah. Very. Like, very ridiculous. Am I, that's crazy that under two minutes you can't review <laughs> well, what could have been the biggest play in the game. They should be able to review that. Agreed. They should be able to stop the game and look at that. They stop the game for fucking everything. They stop the game for 30 minutes just because they the want to figure out if the ball went off someone's, like, little pinky or their elbow. The problem, though, I guess, is if you... Under two minutes. Yeah, only under two minutes. Under two minutes is all I care about. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, the goaltend doesn't happen that often. No. And in this case, right. but, in this but case, it can it was directly pretty affect. Pretty big. Yeah. It's one thing Silver can fix, like, one thing by one. Like, he'll fix things one by one, so every summer they're like, man, this yeah. guy just what? gets yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know, don't, don't do too no good of a job all in one spot. Right. Yeah. That just it all struck once, me. Yeah. <laughs> it struck me as crazy that they wouldn't be able to go back and look at that. That's smart. Don't, don't it, do a great job. And I don't, job a lot of I time. actually, the yeah. mantra. I don't blame the refs in that because it was so bang, bang. Right. Like, you had to watch it on replay to see that it hit the, that it, like, brushed the backboard before he pinned it. You were even saying on replay, it wasn't even, like, the most clear goaltend of all time. Right. But if you watch it, you can see that it did hit the bass backboard first. Ron said also, it was a goaltend. Also, fuck, you know what? Actually, I'm going to take everything back I just said about the <laughs> goaltend. Fuck you, Old Depot. Dunk the ball. Yeah. Like, don't be a pussy. Don't try to do a layup over LeBron. Yeah, that's almost like a, just, that's a punishment for being a fucking... He lives on those blocks. Uh, blocks. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's dunk what, the ball. Like, LeBron James making big playoff blocks is probably, like, right. the more... That's, like, the defines him in the playoffs. Right. It goes strong to the fucking rack. I'm Jesus. just wondering, though, like, if there's a situation where you... Stop play for that, but then it turns out it wasn't a goaltend, and something else happened after the play. You know what I mean? Like you can't like undo. Like a continuation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, what do you do if it turns out that it wasn't a goaltend, yeah. but then no, someone scored true. on the other end? Let that let, you, it, let that nerd out right away. Don't you? I don't you know. That's what I'm saying. Like if not, then you review it. But oh, yeah, it they wasn't a goaltend. The but they went down and hit right. a three pointer. But right. so that's, what do we do? That's then, kind of what happened in the Celtics game when Al Horford like clearly took the shot after the shot clock went off the other game, but. There was a foul that happened after that, so you can't go back exactly. like two plays because right. there's too many I'm, things. It might be lost. one of those things. Yeah, I'm lost. Well, you know, it's basketball. You're a hockey guy, so. Uh, and the Rockets we move on. on. Very funny yeah. clip that mixtape put up with the with uh, the pause from, from the till from the tip to the end. Pause, and then you cut to Chris Paul just just laughing and rubbing his eyes. Very funny. What? Stuff. What did you do? It was uh, Clint C Capella, C Capella was talking about yeah. like they played hard from the beginning of the game to the end, so, but he said. He said, from the tip to the end, oh, yeah. and James Harden, and James he Harden. got his mic and he just looks at the at the like the crowd. He's like, pause, That's and they awesome. call, they pants. Chris, Chris Paul is like just cracking his up. Pants, yeah. it's very Timber fun. Bulls. A game that matters this much. Yeah, it means a lot, uh, especially uh, this kind of game brings your energy from from the the, the tip until the end. Um, this is oh, really what I, I, I try to do. Like third quarter, fourth quarter, always have their face, always always playing, spring it. Oh man, that's that. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk that the <laughs> team that lost in the playoffs all those years still is losing in the Ten playoffs? Ten years later. With, like, the same <laughs> roster. Yeah. The same exact roster. Yeah, they just moved west. Yeah. I, watching Derrick Rose, like, be, like, the focus of that team is infuriating. That's Do we – the basketball guys are here, so they're – I don't know if they're on camera or not. I don't know how our cameras work. Yeah, yeah. On yes, Do you guys yeah, right think that uh, – <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know what I'm talking We're about. taking a little shine off Cat. <laughs> He played that. No, we talked about it just now. We have a mixtape coming out before this comes out because Pete, all business maybe, Pete, maybe. fucked up yesterday. Maybe it comes out. Uh, he played like dog shit the first two games. And then what did he put up? He put up 23 last night. 22 and 13. Yeah. Okay. So what, you're down on him now? No, he, no, no, he no, was, I'm not down on him. I know he was, big no, I was he, was like 20 and, he was like 20 and 15 in their last three games, and he was yeah. like 6 and 11 no, his first two games. No, it was a question for the Cat guys. And so, no. were you, did you guys ever debate Cat versus Anthony Davis? No, my prediction before the draft was he'd have a better career than Anthony Davis when it was all said and done. Okay. So it's so a little too early to comment. But I do have Anthony Davis winning MVP like this the year. the best player in the NBA. Yeah, I had him MVP this year. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love them both. I, I, okay. I, I, <laughs> Kentucky guys. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's true. Those are your wild cats. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't choose. <laughs> the biggest wild cat. The biggest huh? wild cats. No. Nailed it. <laughs> no, nailed no it. don't do that. <laughs> Uh, moving on. Uh, all around, though, very one of those nights where, like, Unbelievable it's just, sports. yeah, fun to be a sports yeah. fan. Like, I don't know what else you'd be doing in, if, with your life if you weren't watching a Game 7 or anything that, like that LeBron shot. I don't know what people do with Period. only one TV. But I... I, I, I was thinking like, about that last night. You know what, though? We How met, we met uh, the most uh, interesting... I, I just watched my one TV. If, if I have, like, the, I had socks on MLB TV. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I'm a big flip around. Like, I, I, I get, I get the life you lead. It's great. It's, I mean, you got. But you know what's the interesting? We moment. talked to the most interesting man in the world yesterday. He was here, right? And he's not a sports guy at all. That's and, understatement. And he's like happy and alive and looks I good. He's rich. Yeah, but I, it's, it's. Yeah, like but his happiness you know, is no not stress. as high as there's no. Nah. But you, Sometimes I wish I was just like, like a, potter. a no, fucking he, weirdo who doesn't no. like sports. Okay. Because it sucks for me. Yeah, but you wake up. Like, like, there's you, never a high. Right, but if you're not a sports fan, you wake up every day, and what do you look forward to? I don't know. But this is the thing. I don't even like look forward to it. I'm like, oh, oh I look I forward gotta, to like, it. I, 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 I'm going to watch the Mets, but I'm going to fucking watch the Mets, you know? I'm just a big game guy. I'm just a big game guy. Yeah, you. It's amazing, but. I'm just a big game guy. Yeah. I love the big game. I don't know what they do. I'm like, not a big game guy. I don't, I don't if my I need my team to be. I need that. Oh, I'm with you on that. But uh, you have like your gambling. You get, yeah, but you I also just like, love. Like, I mean, I watched the Bruins Leafs last last night. Yeah, but that's because you invested in me. It's true. I didn't bet on the rush. <laughs> I didn't bet on the Jazz <laughs> Thunder game. I was very invested in that. I but guess I just don't like pride basketball. On the line. Yeah, you your, but you just yeah. you know like the story. I'm a journalist at heart. Oh God. Right, Tom. <laughs> Roof for the sure story. Knows sure knows now. Yeah, Speaking story. of, uh, Dave is the biggest asshole in the world. <laughs> he has just got to be the biggest dick of all time. Rolling up in uh, the room, as he calls it. Uh, it just takes a staggering amount of, like, indifference towards everyone else in the world to just Yeah, to just I didn't go watch it. I saw, the, uh, I saw the clip that he just, like, called Dent High in the wrong name. Yeah, that was like, something. That was something. Like, just, like, look, the kid had a goal, like, rookie, wasn't even in the lineup game six. I don't have a knife. I'm calling the wrong name. Jake, that that goal. I mean, the skating I'm, on that. I'm Dan. Dan. Jake's over there. Sorry, I'm in a stall. That was so confusing. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't score the goal. No, you want me to talk about his goal? Yeah, I thought skating played a key component of that. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, uh, it was unbelievable. He can fly, and uh, you know, he took he took a big hit on the play, and it was. Uh, it was fun to watch. Do you guys always stand in other people's stalls to confuse I mean, people? Yeah, sometimes. So. All right. I mean, why wouldn't you stand in his stall, right? I mean, I just saw it. Yeah, yeah. He has a big goal. So nice. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He just he just makes a mockery of these guys, like their most passionate moment Ooh. of their lives, Ooh. probably. Ooh. He did great last night. I okay. have to say. The, the, yeah, the yeah. locker room <laughs> stuff was fucking hilarious. It's so funny. I said two days ago that I think he is trolling a little too much on Twitter where it's losing the subtlety. What was the last, uh, there was one last night that was He said original late. eight. Yes, original eight, I mean, that was it. like the subtlety, the subtlety is where the humor is, so I thought the locker room stuff was fucking laugh out loud funny. I do think he's, his tweets, people are gonna start turning on his tweets if he's, if he's hammering you over the head as much. I, I as think it is. was nose face maybe, where he said pucks on net to him like four times in like I a three crude. second span. Yeah, crude. I mean, he, he's really laying it on thick with pucks. But I, I don't know. Brad, uh, third period, major change. I thought you guys really skated, got pucks in deep. What do you think the difference was? Yeah, um, we, we just kind of had that belief. We, you know, we, we came at them a little harder, took care of pucks a little better, but we started attacking the net a little more, and it worked out for us. What about cycling the puck? Big key this year? Yeah, it was. Um, they, they do have a ton of skill, make a lot of plays, and their, their forwards fly the zone. So, um, you know, if we're able to get on them, turn pucks over, a lot of times our forwards are in the zone and we're able to create some opportunities. All right, congrats, big win. Thank you. I, I still get a kick out of it. I oh, I mean, it's hilarious, yeah, but... I still get a and kick I mean, you know that all those guys know who he is yeah. and they are all... They still, like, are doing... Think does. You don't good. think he, like, knows of him or, like... I mean, like, he, oh, that's maybe the guy. He told him afterwards, like that's the barstool guy. But yeah. like goalies are fucking yeah, weird. Are They're the weirdest like, people in the world. He's not on social but media. But the point is, actually, it, like what's jokes. funny is he doesn't. <laughs> he's a weird guy. Yeah, he's good. Like, I'm sure he doesn't. Like I jokes. think, but watching them all answer his question as if. He was, you know, they're just like, we're here to do our job with the media and we're going to give our normal responses, even though I know this is fucking Prez and he's a dick. Yeah. It's very funny to watch. Was there any uh, backlash of like, how could they give them media credentials? Because I live for that shit. I, see, I, I, was, I started Twitter searching it. Yeah, like I mean, barstool credentials, just hoping that someone that, just. Was that I mean, one guy? Rear Admirals had credentials for. No, yes, I know, but like to, blat Spectre yeah, them, to blatantly troll in the locker room. I fucking live for the people to get mad about that. By the way, Rear Ads shaved his beard for the Game 7? Yeah, yeah it's a I mean, it, it fucking works, but yeah. Jesus Christ. All right, in between uh, periods, Rear, uh, that was a bad period. I, I thought the highlight or the low light, we gave up a shorthand to go less men on the ice uh, playoff hockey Game 7. Uh, that's a bad sign. Can't do that. Uh, like Homer Simpson said, a football to the groin is a football to the groin, and four goals on 12 shots is four goals on 12 shots. Tuca got to clean it up. Bruins are sloppier than a drunk girl at the party. 
Yeah, they just got to get the next goal. What's still I, I don't see any jump. They look like they got no jump, like they didn't know the second period. No one told them that's game second period of game seven. They look slow. Marshawn looks slow. Is the ice chippy? Are they just they, 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 the, what, what are the boys going to do? Doesn't look chippy for Toronto. Uh, they, they're just getting out hustled right now. They got better shots, but Freddie's seeing the puck. Well, he's made some good saves here. Uh, Tuka hasn't matched him down the other end. But they just got to keep coming, man. Just got to get the next one and then uh, one after that. Just, uh, he you, went from you, caveman to like cue ball. Yeah, I think uh, why people call him a naked mole rat on, on healthy scratches. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a good one. It's like, a visual. How do you like your chances against the Lightning? I like them better than the Toronto. I was scared with Toronto. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm good going out. Tampa's Tampa, man. Fuck Tampa. They died the, like, they died I don't, the I don't trust blue. warm hockey teams. Yeah. It's like, it's like a. We've talked about this before with like uh, college football, like weird jerseys. Mm -hmm. like, I don't trust a warm hockey team. Mm -hmm. I'm not scared of that's, that's a very fair yeah. point of analysis. Agreed. I'm with you on that. Uh, we got this girl who got hit in the fucking eyeball with a dart. That oh, was, I was, I was doing one of these, like watching it, like, uh, I don't know if I really want to see this. She's calling him out. And she's like, throw it, you pussy, throw it. And it just goes right in her eye. And the reaction was so, it was, weird, it was one it? of those moments like, you ever done something really stupid when you're drunk? Like no. really bad. No. Mm -hmm. What's the dumbest no thing you've ever done when you're drunk? I have no idea. You know, like like if you've ever injured yourself or done something you can't take back. You I got arrested sober three up, times. Sober up right away, and you're just like, definitely. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. Yeah, there were a couple, just, a couple of times in, in jail. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. I mean, this uh, but I didn't do anything. Blind. Those, those were all. I was fine. I was just 17. I and you're not going to be blind in one eye. For I, the rest I didn't of your do anything incredibly yeah, dumb. I just drank at 17. You got to be blind, right? Like you can't. Goes right I in. can't. Um, she doesn't even scream. There's just no reaction other than no, her being like. That actually made it worse in my yeah, mind. Yeah, absolutely. Because she knew the severity. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like in, in that moment, she became completely sober, and she was like, "I've just ruined my life." Yeah, I'll never that see sucks. it. That sucks. I love darts, by the way. I can't. It's kind of wild that it, bars uh, just let like, yeah, let's get all the well, together. You can throw spears around. Like no big deal. I'm a big time like you know golf hardos like follow the rules. I'm a big time follow the rules on golf on darts guy. Like, yeah, yeah. Don't throw when anyone's in the shooting lane and that kind of shit. Well, that's playing, just like, like five hours of darts. Safety. Safety. I don't even know if that's a goal. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but like I don't fuck around darts with rule. that. And I like I would I'd be disgusted if I saw this girl disgracing the dartboard like. <laughs> Darts is a lot of fun. Tommy, you darts? ever played darts? We played that all night. You never we, uh, played darts? I mean, yeah, we never like that. It. Yeah, it's just so much fun. Yeah, that would be so much fun. Thing in yeah, in Maine. You played darts for hours. Yeah. yeah, that's great. You, it has to be a real dartboard. It's None a good, bullshit. it's a good, like, kill time at a bar type of game. Right. Yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't have to get too into Gamble it. Gamble a little take on it. I don't like, I don't love it as much as I love the ring. You throw the ring onto the hook. Yeah, 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 that's hard. I'll stand there for fucking seven hours. That was also at that bar. Was it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, mm -hmm. I didn't forgot that. It was fun. Uh, and last up, Dan, you blogged this. Kim Jong, he goes everywhere with his own toilet. What a move. Power move. The only bigger, it. the only better move or, or anything I've ever heard on par with this is how Charlemagne takes his pants off completely when he farts. <laughs> he does, <laughs> takes off his pants and boxers every single time he farts because he doesn't want to like dirty up his underwear. That's amazing. That's the only thing I've ever heard of that competes with I, I actually, traveling with your own toilet. I actually really disagree with this. I think the power move is, like, I don't use toilets. <laughs> like, I just pee outside. Oh, you, but what about, what about shitting? shitting? Oh, peeing outside is always better. Wait, like a million times. Way better. better. I, no, like, I, I don't have a toilet. I'm going to go pee in that fucking pot of plant. What about pooping, dude? A little close to Weinstein. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you got to poop. Everybody poops. I mean, by I, the way, I, you I, can't I've never travel taken with a poop your outside, own I don't toilet. Think. <laughs> Actually, yeah, one time I did. I have. You pooped yeah. outside? Oh, I have. <laughs> I pooped sure. outside, yeah. A couple like, times. I was, times. was like, caught in traffic. Mm -hmm. You ever just, you ever do like an aqua dump out. in the wall? In the oh, I've ocean. never done you know, that. I've I, done that. I've I never get, shat outside. The that's fun. Outside. Yeah. I'm really scared like, that like water's birth, gonna rush into my asshole. No, you, that's not how it works. Did you poop outside because you had to poop outside, or? Yeah, I was caught in traffic and I like, I just couldn't make it anywhere. I just run out of the car. That's a bad scene. Sometimes you get Well, here's what I don't get. I got high once and ate so much chocolate ice cream that I just pooped outside. When you poop, you pee, right? Yeah. You do that, right? So you, know, you, stomach, you just eat so much ice cream that your stomach yeah, is just like, this is bad for you. So like, at the same time, <laughs> it's hard. Yeah. Like, what'd you do? Like, you do, you do like the Asian squat if you're pooping outside, but then if you pee while you're pooping, like when I poop, it all comes out of, you know, pee and poop. Yeah, so you like, pee if you're first. squatting and you yeah. got your pants yeah. around your ankles, you gotta pee first, but then, I feel like there'd just still be some more in there to come out. I don't know. It seems very hard to me. That's true. It does seem difficult. You don't really, in the moments that John and I are talking about, though, you don't really think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't think, just, think, just poop. Yeah. I think maybe you bring a plastic bag, 
when you put that in front of Over your, your dick. Yeah. And then just poop in the ground. You condom on it, put a condom you on it. You pee oh, into like a bag. Tr- <laughs> an extra large magnum yeah. and just pee into a balloon. <laughs> Why, why would I, you I'm not trying to think of it, but like, your, your, if you had a bag, oh yeah, that's an easy like, pee job. I had just gotten pee really, job. really high, walked to get ice cream, and then like ate so much chocolate ice cream that I just... But like you couldn't get back to your house? No. <laughs> On the walk I mean, I back. shit my pants like yeah, all the true. time, so very, this very isn't true. really... Shit cat. I got problems. <laughs> it's really, it, it's just, it's, the problem isn't that like I can't control my... Well, yes, I can, it it's is. not that I can't control... My can't poop, your it's, yeah. yeah, it's like I'm like a Labrador. Like, just <laughs> yeah, keep I'll, putting I'll food in front of me, I'll eat it all. <laughs> yeah. That's like Gaz, Gaz is like that. Gaz eats and just immediately just shit. Like, immediately. He's a weirdo. It's Blows so right weird. Yeah. He, one time he was he's like, not I, human. He was, one time he's like, I'm just gonna start on the blackout tour. He's like, I should just start smelling my sandwich and throw it in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Save myself some time. That's how he stays fucking skinny yeah. like that. Yeah, well, that he metabolism also eats, is he's no, like He an doesn't asshole. get any calories because he just shits it right out. <laughs> uh, what I don't understand is like when you bring your own toilet, you know, it's not like hooked up to plumbing. Or oh, whatever. I think they hook it up. In everywhere, some, everywhere he goes. I mean, like, I mean, he's got people who do that shit. You know, if you came to the barstool office, if Kim Jong rolls up here for an interview and he brings his own toilet, what are you gonna do? Yeah, you hook it up. I don't think it works like that. I think. Oh, I know. I definitely think it does. Yeah. I think what do you he, think? He's like just a little kid, just like I, eating, pooping in toilets in like Home Depot. I think, yeah, I think he just shits in a toilet and then someone, someone has to clean it up. That also oh, is a great move. That's, that's, that's a power move, too. Yeah. I think Although, that's definitely what happens. I don't, think I, you feel can, like I don't think you can just do plumbing on the go. You need a little water. You, you need some water in there. For the Otherwise, it could smell really bad. Well, he doesn't. I mean, shit out of water I mean. is someone else. very, very bad. Is it? Yeah. Shit out of water smells really bad. <laughs> Human shit. I, I don't think I've been around much shit out of water. Well, you walk the streets around here sometimes, you find it. It's crazy that around. dog shit doesn't smell as bad as human shit, right? Is that weird? No, because they just eat like grains. I guess, yeah, like, I guess so. like we eat just garbage, garbage right? Yeah, yeah. like I we, guess, like, we eat like poisons yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. It's like yeah, yeah, whatever, cool. Although dogs are like sometimes Beer. like they eat like a dead bird. Like my dog, I swear to God, she yeah. like, she's yeah, go- so like dogs good. eat garbage. Like, oh like, yeah, I've had that. Pro- I mean, New York. Like, how do you keep finding these fucking things? Your dog New York ate, is ate a bird once. Yeah, she'll always come back with a bird. Yeah, I'm like, you're a golden. Fucking Labrador. Yeah, yeah. What are Why you are you doing? You're not a hunting dog. Yeah. Leave the birds alone. I don't know. Labrador. You should be scared are, of right? the birds. They got some sort of it's, instinct to. But New York is especially like I actually have to pay attention when I walk still now because without fail, there's like she'll fu- she'll just be walking and I'll look down and she's got a fucking chicken wing in her mouth. Uh, I was just gonna say chicken wing. I was that? just gonna say that because like bones always are dangerous chicken wing. and shit too. So and like, they're fuck. always on the fucking ground in New yeah. York. There's chicken wings everywhere. There's, there's like cigarette butts. Yeah. Chicken yeah. Chicken wings, fucking but just all, every wrapper. Specifically yeah. chicken bones. Yeah, yeah. they just everywhere. Every, everywhere. Like someone, there is like some guy in New York who's just eating chicken wings and just awesome. throwing them everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to get these dogs. <laughs> and they, I'm going to get them. Because it's not like one of those situations like you, you'll notice sometimes you're walking your dog. It's like, oh, someone spilled fries right there. Mm-hmm. Like, let's walk around that. No, mm-hmm. it's just yeah, like, stray like, chicken wings. When we go by the Chipotle over here, there's always just like yeah, a, just a pile of food. Someone, someone dropped yeah. something. But it makes yeah. sense. But like, why is chicken there? You know, I'm looking around. Walking around, a dog, chicken chicken dog in New York like, on trash day is legitimately yeah. like exhausting. Yeah. yeah. Exercise. They're just like, like, what's that smell like? Yeah. Hey, what's that smell like? Yeah. Just running every bag. What is yeah. this smell like? Yeah. Even on non-trash days, in the middle of the street, I'll yeah. just see full bags just ripped open, oh, blowing all over the place. Yeah. Everywhere. Now it like must rain New chicken wings at four o'clock in the morning. It's the worst place in the world. And now And now the weather sucks. It's more expensive than ever. I don't know why anybody lives here. Oh, Stupid. hot trash season is coming. I'm not yeah. excited for not that. Good. that. Not good. Not good. Once it gets sweaty, not good. Um, oh, look at Jared I, strolling in. Why do you do that every time? Like, <laughs> I don't know. You just, don't, you've just walked in during the rundown a couple times. You guys doing the rundown right now? Yeah. What are you guys talking about? Uh, how, much, just, uh, how much you stink? Red Sox won last night. <laughs> Bruins did too. You must be pumped. Yeah, we talked about yeah. it. <laughs> You're looking uh, a little short today, Jared. <laughs> not today. Not today. You are. Probably. You're looking nope. a little short. Not getting triggered today. No, I'm just saying. You're looking a little short. Draft night. Fat. <laughs> <laughs> um, you got the 23rd, 32nd pick. Doesn't matter. 31st. 31st. You, uh, who you want? <sighs> I want this uh, lineman from Notre Dame who everyone has basically. Wait, Nelson. Yeah, he's already in the Hall of Fame. Oh, oh that's good. Yeah. So, who would you want, wrong? knowing college football much better than I do, who would you want if, I, if you were a Jets fan, if you were me? Josh Rosen. Rosen. The chosen Rosen. You're so fucked. The only thing that would be more powerful than my mush in sports would be, you know, my rivalry with the Jews. So, like, there's a chance that he actually wins. I, like, I like, might become, like, a Jets fan just to make you go back to school. 
Right. But wouldn't that be? I would be like a fucking hero. Because it would be like, I, yeah, would, I would be win you. That no, it would be you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jets fans would be like, this guy yep. gave it all because mm -hmm. we know how much he doesn't want to be Jewish. Gave up his religion. Yeah. I can't yeah. wait for the fucking articles about you like wearing like a yarmulke to a Jets game. People are gonna get mad online. Very Can you mad. Imagine? <laughs> They're gonna get mad when they, when they put up that tweet. <laughs> yeah. next to me. They're gonna get mad. Oh, uh, boy. Are you hey, buddy, kill I be a yeah, Super Bowl that's champion. That's a yeah. predicament. You have to you convert to Judaism, become a Super Bowl champion. And then you have to kill yourself. Well, no. Then you have to make as many Jews. Your tweet? Well, no. You already make a lot of Jews. Your tweet was, "I'd kill myself if I was Jewish." So yeah, that's if true. If you became Jewish, you, you, so you're you're sacrificing your religion, <laughs> your place in heaven, and your life for, for a Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. It's a KSU Radio <laughs> hypothetical. What would you give up for a championship? Everything. Everything. Yeah. We'll my, probably have to call I would, I, I, Dunkin' Donuts. No. I'd be happy, but whatever. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I would. I'll help you do all three of those things if you need help. You'll kill. Will you kill me? Yeah, I guess if we say it out loud. Oh, you know what we should do? This is something uh, we've, we've been planning since you know years ago. We'll do the old like bulletproof vest thing. Remember mm. we talked about who was going to mm -hmm. wear it, test out a bulletproof yeah. vest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll do it, and, and then we'll your head. right, like, it didn't work. Yeah, <laughs> or maybe you throw a dart in my fucking eyeball. No, Kill me with a dart. Dan wouldn't do that. I wouldn't Dan's do it. Violate the rules. Respect the game too much. <laughs> respect the darts. Yeah, Tommy. Uh, so I mean, you heard it here first. Lahine, Mazel. Yeah. The Jets win the Super Bowl. Yeah. Yahweh is my guy. And then yeah, you kill yourself. All right, Tommy, who do you like for the Giants? Say it now, quick. Any of the three quarterbacks besides Josh Allen? Yeah, you said you're going to, if you take Chubb, you're going to cry? I'm gonna, I'll riot, yeah. I'll riot. I'll be Will upset. Will you cry on air? No, no. I'll, I'll be see. upset to a degree. Obviously not a content guy. Fucking Kevin, Kevin said he's going to kill himself Jewish, and become and Jewish, and you won't yeah. cry I on air. Like, cry, bitch. I could try, I guess. All right, we'll try it. Are you going right. to watch the draft here? Uh, watch the second maybe. pick. If they Josh take Chubb, I'll do a periscope. Josh Peck speaking at four now tonight.